Let's go on here to winner's finals here. Mr. Brody Lee versus Anarmonia. Two characters that I kind of haven't seen in Grand Finals in a cool minute. Yeah, um, I'm very, very curious how uh, Brody Lee's going to approach this one. Like, he just got through playing a snake, which is another projectile character. And it's like a huge body. But uh, not as... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. I'm sorry, man. That, do not uh, pass go. Do not collect 200. Get off my stage, please. Wow. I completely forgot how good that move is at ledge. And how strong it is for some reason. Like, it just seems like a huge joke move, but it's it's very good. Nice. There's it, the arc fire. Yeah. That hit stun from arc fire is enough to set up to the back. It gets the forward. What a good call out. Looking for the landing, but you can see that that was going to be the L Thunder. Doesn't find the opportunity. Still sends the Gordo back, and Harmonia is looking to catch up. Oh, nice. good anti air. Nice anti air, yeah. And uh, that was like a good call out, too, because he doesn't have to commit to that single jump. He could have jumped like multiple times there. Oh, the cross oh. up with double lock fire? Oh, no, gets the third one. Oh. That would have been a clean play. So it might have been good DI from Brody Lee to avoid getting the third one. But uh, if Inharmonia was ready for that, he could have arc fired the other direction to catch him. But it doesn't even matter. He's already on his last stock. Brody Lee, man, he just applies so much pressure like to a surprising degree with a character like DDD. Oh, most definitely. Oh. You have to give it to Inharmonia. Inharmonia is going for a lot of plays where you would see right. Inharmonia come out on top with those projectiles to force Brody Lee to hold shield. Brody Lee is just that one step ahead of Inharmonia, gets the Elf Thunder to go back, and then holds the stage yet again. Can he get the edge guard here? Down Ooh. smash for the get up attack on that one. Now he's, you can see in this matchup, he's able to utilize the ledge trapping much more than he did in the snake matchup. So you can see the strength of DD on full display, but watch out for that. Arc fire, just combo, man. So devastating, taking so much percent. Watch out here, very close to dying already, even though he has such a huge advantage. Oh, good, oh, good, 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 good. Sees the counterplay against that opportunity because you know if Inharmonia lost Legend of Invincibility, that, that dash attack would have hit. Ha, doesn't punish the roll. Still in a good spot here. Oh, Ooh. good he, counterplay. So he actually dropped his inhale early. Uh, from, you know, I'm not sure why actually, but uh, yeah, if, if he just kept holding his inhale, he, we would have sent that Thoron right back at Inharmonia, but he dropped it a little bit too soon. So uh, he's, instead he was gonna take the full brunt of that move. Yeah, Inharmonia able to come back on top after that one. I mean, when it was Brody Lee kind of taking the lead into that first dance. Yeah, he had a huge first stock. I think he only took like 30% or something mm -hmm. while killing with that dash attack. And like, when you have a stock lead at 30 with DD, when you like, you know, heavy character, that's huge. But in spite of all of that, Inharmonia was able to make a pretty huge comeback. So we're going to run it right back to Final Destination. I don't see this as such a, you know, big deal. Yeah. First game was very close. Yeah, Burley not too far behind. I love the edge pressure that Burley is able to apply, kind of reading out Inharmonia before the arc fire even activates, because Gordo's already in the face. Try for an L Thunder. There's a forward air in the face. Try oh. to land. Careful with that dash attack, please. Yeah, going for the dash attack two frame, a little difficult. I actually expected him to just try to intercept him with another aerial since he didn't have a double jump. But uh, I guess he's confident he can time that dash attack pretty well since he got it for the first talk in the previous game. Yeah, but I I agree. Using DDD all the way from Brawl, <laughs> I wouldn't put it behind Adamus to not miss that at all. Oh, tough spot. Ooh. I like that. Get away from that up tilt. Yeah, you can go for the Gordo setup here at the ledge. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, Continues man. the whole shield. But there's his back guy's going to sneak his way in there. Again, Brody Lee taking the first stock. Oh, excellent counter play on that inhale. Yeah, just jump right over it and get the forward air out. That's this is where I'm seeing Anharmonia get a lot of those W's in terms of the oh no. Okay, good, 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 good. This is tough too, because Anharmonia's been coming in hot with a lot of aerials, projectiles. Again, going for the two room with the dash attack. This is a little bit off on his timing. 
Nice. Good counterplay. Able to hit DDD right before he can get the inhale. Good. One of the jump out. Gets the sword back. Good pressure on the shield. Gets the back air. This puts Enter Moon in such an advantageous position. Getting that neutral with such a wide hitbox. Yeah, just trying to cover as many options off stage as possible. Oh. oh no grab? I, 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 for so long. I, thought I like easy. it though. I like it because you can see that Anamoni is 81%. Anamoni would be scared and would normally go for roll, and you could see that Brutally was gonna cover that. Oh it's it's deep uh, border yeah. and dodges the uh L Thunder? Yeah. yeah. Arc Thunder, Ill Thunder, Arc Thoron, and they all look the same to me at times. Good back air, I like it. Sees that cross up opportunity. Arc fire to send that back. Yeah, uh Inharmonia is very, very uh, willing to just use the projectiles in this situation, even when he's behind. Oh nice. wow. I didn't realize he got hit out of his double jump there. He <laughs> Same. A really awkward position to recover. Good forward air. Nice. Nice. Very good stuff. You're catching the juggles really well. Okay. So this is take some opportunity to charge. Watch, watch it. This see, this is the situation where Anharmonia oh. loses a lot of the situ well, coming back on stage. There's a lot of projectiles being put in play, but Brodely covers those all the time with Gordo. And that Gordo is so active that it's able to hit Anharmonia before the Arc Fire or the Elf Under. Good space in the oh, recovery. Got the star hit. That was actually very good for him because he had no more legend invincibility. He was like forced to go back on stage with that LB. Still very punishable if Inharmonia just held shield. Okay. Last hit situation here. Both players can tell very nervous. Don't want to drop anything. No Thoron set up here. Okay. Oh my goodness. The Gordo's working against him right now. All the projectiles are just getting that option. All right. Brutally, I was going to say. Jumps over everything. Inharmonia not prepared to block that back air. Surprisingly enough. But uh, him having multiple jumps, it messes up your timing on shielding his uh, aerials. Cause exactly. It, That's... If you're just the seeing field double jump, you're already like, okay, they're going to fall on top of me with the aerial. I, I know how to time like, my shield. But he's using like three or four jumps. It's really hard to time it correctly. Yeah, and then that back air, I, I know in Brawl, DDD's back air was something to behold. But even in this game, if, if, if it's such commitment, you can see how good that low profile, that back air, coupled with the fact that Mr. Brulee is using those multiple jumps to get that. Great play all around. Let's get her to go to game three here. 1-1 one, one apiece. All FD so far. You know, if there's just a green to FD, I would like it if they went to like, you know, a cool Omega FD. But... Find some FD plays whatever song you want now. Anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say oh. like that's the best part about this up uh, the last update we got recently. You can now hear all the cool music in every sort of say Smash original stage. Okay, rolls past that, but no punish. Up smash? Yep. Oh my God, you was not even close to living. Nice, gets the inhale. I like that every time Burley gets those inhales, he immediately sets the aim for the forward air, knowing that most opponents would actually panic, jump out of that situation. Watch the shield with such pressure shield. on oh, the it, forward it, smash and the Gordo, God. Yeah, the Gordo and the charged F smash wasn't enough to break shield. I'm they're very surprised. You know, I actually think if you did the similar ledge trap with uh, Jet Hammer over forward smash, it would work just as well. Nice. It's not, it's not better in some ways. And Armonia went off the deep end just to come back on the stage with the L win. Gets the back throw. Sets up for the back air. Almost finds it though. I like it. We're seeing in Armonia definitely avoid a lot of Brody Lee's aerial so far. Kind of finally getting that counterplay all together. Ooh. Caught the roll, up smash, just enough to get that stock. First time seeing up smash come out from Brody Lee this, this whole night pretty much. But... 
You have to use all your tools available if you want to make a oh. this happen. No, he's fine, he's fine. Elwin goes pretty far distance. But uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. I was just scared for that forward air. Because if, if he's an opportunity to forward air you off stage, you're gonna take it. Yeah. And it's not that fast. 13 frame startup. It's active from the minute it goes on. Good Thor on there to catch the landing here, but brutally with a great directional air dodge to move that hurt box from the blast zone. Oh. oh another for good measure. Say, okay, you look the first one. How about another one? Took care of the Gordo too for a second there, and a book throw to get rid of it as well. Scary stuff there. Normally, Broder Lee, we would see him go for Gordo to cover and Armonia for going for something like Arcfire, but at that situation, we saw forward air. Different plays being made from both players. Okay. Uh, he ran out of Arcfire. That's why you didn't see the double Arcfire to, like, up air or back air. Ooh. Ooh. Close. If that forward air would have hit the Gordo and DD, that would have been stock. Catches the... Catches the jump though with the back air. Like you said, back air has got such great knockback, but it's a 17 frame startup. It's pretty crazy how slow it is. But a lot of people get mis, uh, kind of misconceptional about it. Yeah. That is startup messes with their carry timing as well. Oh. Man, that was rough. That was rough, actually. He just wanted to apply more pressure off stage, but even though he got a hit, he wasn't really positioned well to continue his edge guard. And uh, Inharmonia is going to take that free back air. Yep, free back air indeed, putting him up 2-1 against Broda Lee. Both of these players going, I was going to say, even though you see the scoreboard on Inharmonia's side, it's it's neck and neck, man. It's coming down to last stock, last hit at times. Yeah, very, very close, which is, uh, just, again, I, I got to say, I'm very impressed with how he's able to play these types of matchups with Didi. Like heavily projectile carries, I can just hit the Gorils right back at him, or just kill him really hard with the projectiles. But uh, he's just making it very close, in spite of all that. Three, two, one, go! Right, well, give you guys a little. For, uh, on PS2, the set so far, it's been all FD. Early, potentially on his last uh, winner's bracket, winner's bracket game here. Trying to pull out all the stops, going for a different counter pick this time, see what you can uh, make happen here. Yeah, sorry I'm a little bit late on the information for you guys, but Anarmonia is usually goes by the shorter name of N, comes from Boulder, Colorado. So definitely good to see some players from Colorado definitely come out to MSM online today. Wow, I didn't expect him to be in that much uh, lag after absorbing the, the arc fire there. But oh, missed up air. Hit by the Thoron. Oh, good forward air. This is going to put Anarmonia in such a tough spot to make the recovery. Finally gets a dash attack here, and it's 2 2 a piece here with Broderly only 49% of the name. Quickly climbing up to 66 after that up air. Great pressure on the shield. Enough to shield poke with that neutral air. Arc fire, nice, and that forces the roll get up there, but unfortunately unable to find it. Back air is so fast, barely able to get through that inhale. Again, using like the Gordo to get back to the stage, even if it doesn't hit, just hit, forcing him to shield long enough for you to get some stage control back is all you need. That's DV. Oh no. Oh. Tough here? angle, but he can still recover. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Uh, beat on stage with so much lag. That was a really, really huge edge guard opportunity for Brody Lee. Okay. Oh no. Unfortunately, the end lag of the uh, air dodge was enough. Nice going extra low to avoid the forward air. Trying to come a little bit aggressive, but still oh, able to survive. Okay. Gentlemen, jab to the stock here. I guess is down smash doesn't hit ledge. Because he definitely had no more legend instability there, but he opted yeah. for dash attack. Oh, read the tech roll. Excuse you for teching it. Nice, using that jump to get away. Arcfire just sets enough time to come back on the stage. Good stuff to Anarmonia. Getting all the counter plays here, but Brodely always making sure he's never that far behind here. 47% on this penguin with an even 24 to climb on Anarmonia. Oh, catches the roll in. 
Oh. Okay, both hits of the Grodo actually working out for Brody Lee here. Another opportunity for a ledge trap. He's gonna eat the Thoron though. It's unfortunate. Can't really afford it if you're making trades in this situation. Might want to talk to Nintendo on that Thoron, man, because that hitbox hit King Diddy in a way I never thought I would see it hit, hit him. Nice. Reads the dash attack. And that's a counterplay with Arc, arc Fire. Yeah, he's the tunnel vision on this dash attack at ledge. Not sure why, but. Oh, no. Oh, I caught him slipping with that dash attack. Not prepared to even, you know, tilt the stick in a better direction. At least anything that's not DIing towards the blast zone. <laughs> but again, that moves pretty quick. So you, I don't know, a lot of times when it hits you, you don't know it's going to hit you until it's already too late. So.